On balance, I accept that you are likely to find prison more difficult than a neurotypical prisoner. I take that into account. Your injuries. After shooting Sergeant Matt Rattana twice, you fired two more shots. One hit the wall of the cell, mercifully missing the two officers who were bravely restraining you. The fourth hit you in the neck. This resulted in bleeding and a blood clot, which travelled to your brain and has caused some damage. It has also resulted in physical problems. It means you now use a wheelchair, and you have real problems with your communication, often using a whiteboard to help you communicate. It is entirely due to your deliberate and voluntary actions that you have those injuries. But I have regard to the impact of imprisonment on you in the light of the totality of your injuries. I am satisfied that adequate treatment can be provided in custody. Even so, I recognise that custody is likely to be more difficult, both because of your injuries and because of your autism. That is a significant factor to consider when deciding whether to impose a whole life order. Impact on your family. I have read the statement of your mother and extracts of it were read by Mr Khan. I recognise the impact that your sentence will have on your family. But that is not a significant mitigating factor. The aggravating factors, in my judgment, outweigh the mitigating factors. The aggravating effect of your use of a gun and the planning and premeditation outweigh the mitigating effects of your personal mitigation, including the impact of custody. There is therefore no justification to depart from the starting point of a whole life order. That is what Parliament has decided should normally apply as a starting point to the murder of a police officer in the execution of their duty. The seriousness of the offence means that a minimum term order is not justified. A whole life order must be imposed. Louis de Zoyza, I sentence you to imprisonment for life. I impose a whole life order. That means you will remain in custody for the rest of your life. You may now be taken from the dock.